In the spring of 2003, we here at Watercrafters were visited by two Canada geese. They decided that they would take a residence here in the front of our pool store in this planner. They became protected by the Migratory Species Bird Act. We found this out when we called the Humane Society to find out how we could get rid of them because they were pooping all in front of our store. And we tried to follow the law. We let them do what they were supposed to do, which is sit here, hatch their eggs, and move on. A reporter from a local newspaper did an article on the geese. He talked about how crazy it was to have two wild animals in an urban setting. I called to thank him and say, you know, what a nice story it was. And that's when he told me that he had gotten a phone call from somebody who said she had been injured by the geese. Apparently she had gotten out of her car en route to the fabric store next door and came across the male goose who flapped his wings and snapped at her. The uh, woman had apparently fallen, had an injury. Our lawyer sent back a letter to her lawyer explaining that we really didn't have anything to do with the goose other than it was in front of our store. And the goose was not our employee or our agent. Two years later, it evolved to where we were actually served with papers that she was suing us for three quarters of a million dollars. Not only were we sued, our landlord was also named in the suit. Uh, even the store next door was named in the suit. We ended up contacting our insurance company, uh, meeting with them several times to start to put together a defense. We had to basically go to court to protect our rights. Our staff was deposed. Uh, they had to take time away from their jobs and their families to go do that. We felt we didn't do anything wrong that uh, they were wild animals in an open area. We didn't invite them. Uh, we couldn't do anything about them. We couldn't figure out why we had anything to do with this lawsuit. The court trial actually took uh, three days. Jury came back and found us not negligent. It was a big win for us. It's possible that if this lawsuit had come away with a large verdict, it could cause us to close our doors. The time taken away from your business, the way you run your business, you start to second guess how you do business because you're worried about the next lawsuit. And that's not the way to run a company.